Ever since The Last Jedi hit theaters, fans have been arguing about what the Force is actually capable of, which is vast, and what kind of Force powers or abilities there are in Star Wars canon. Today I will go through every Force power or ability in canon. To meet this criteria, there must be a reference or example in canon to date, which I will provide in this video. I know there are a lot of Force powers in Legends material, especially video games and during Old Republic times. These will not be covered in this video. Alright, let's get on to the canon Force abilities, starting with some of the basics and then on to other less common abilities. Force Push Force Push was a telekinetic ability of the Force that was used in a variety of ways, primarily for combat to disarm an opponent or move an object. There are numerous examples of a force push from all users of the force in canon. Force Jump Force Jump was an ability of the force that allowed its users to leap huge distances. Force Senses I'm going to combine a few abilities and put them in this one umbrella of force senses. To begin Force Meditation Through meditation and reaching out through the force, one could sense a variety of things. Danger, things to come, emotion of others, etc. Force senses could also just be an enhanced physical sense or attribute. For example, during the trial of Quinlan Voss, Yoda revealed that he would uncover the alignment of a Force user just by touching them, stating that the Force had permitted him to read the history of a soul. Or for example, sensing the presence of others, such as Luke sensing Darth Vader in Return of the Jedi. I will also put enhanced dexterity and reflexes under this umbrella of force senses. The force just enhanced basic senses from lightsaber combat to piloting ships. The ability to survive in space, aka that Leia scene from The Last Jedi, would also fall under this umbrella. Ryan Johnson explained this scene as an instinctual survival thing with the force combined with the will to live. So basically, it was an enhanced Force survival sense. Force Dash Force Dash, also known as Force Speed, was an ability of the Force that allowed its user to increase his or her speed for a brief time. One example in canon is that Darth Vader uses frequently to augment his speed, mostly in written material, not so much on screen. Telekinesis Telekinesis was the ability to lift, move, and otherwise manipulate objects using the power of the Force. So this basically is a catch-all for everything that isn't a designated Force move like a push or a choke, just anything else where it's just simply moving objects. Some examples include lifting rocks, fruit of course, or just something simple like opening doors without touching them. Force Choke the force choke was used to telekinetically grip, squeeze, or crush a victim's throat with the force. Some who used this ability demonstrated being able to lift their victim off the ground, such as Vader, and holding the victim up by their necks. This technique could also be aimed to break the neck of a victim, either by twisting, bending, or crushing it. Darth Vader is definitely the most prominent user of this ability in canon, but there are numerous other instances as shown here. Bleeding Bleeding was the process that a dark side user used by the way of the force to bend a kyber crystal to their will. This process was accomplished by the individual pouring rage, hate, and pain into the crystal via the force until the crystal changed color to red. One example of this in canon is, Star is Darth Vader bleeding a crystal in the Darth Vader comics. Alternatively, using the light side of the force, it was possible to reverse the effects of bleeding on a kyber crystal. This process would change the crystal's color from red to white. Ahsoka Tano notably performed this on the Six Brothers lightsaber during an encounter with him in the book Ahsoka. Force Bond A force bond or connection was a powerful link between two force-sensitive individuals that ultimately connected their minds and allowed them to communicate across great distances through the force. A few examples of this include Kylo Ren and Rey's connection in The Last Jedi, as well as when Ezra Bridger's and Maul's minds were shared when they connected the holocrons in Star Wars Rebels. Force Clouding 
This was a cloaking technique employed by the Sith to conceal their true nature from the Jedi and other users of the Force. The individual would pull their dark powers into themselves and adopt a mask of insignificance. This projected illusion would enable a Sith to hide in plain sight whenever they would go out in public. This was used by Chancellor Palpatine extensively while holding public office in the Clone War and pre-Clone War era. Similar to clouding was concealment. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda both used a form of force concealment to shield themselves from Darth Sidious and Vader in their exile. Similarly and related is how Luke Skywalker shut himself from the force while he was in exile on Octo. Force Focus Force focus was an ability to focus on a task through the use of the force. Luke Skywalker used it to accurately fire proton torpedoes into the thermal exhaust port of the Death Star. Force healing. Force healing was the ability to heal oneself or others through the force. There are countless instances in legends, but direct healings are a little bit more rare than you would think. We see an example in Ahsoka being healed on Mortis during the Clone Wars, and a reference is also made specifically in canon in Star Wars Uprising. Force Metamorphosis It is the ability to shapeshift into a creature, object, or person. Not to be confused with Essence Transfer, this move takes the Force to next level crazy by actually transforming the physical form. It was mostly conjured by the alternate Force using Night Sisters, as well as in Season 3 of the Clone Wars where the family of godlike force wielders known as the Ones, who are extensively used in this list, turned everything from griffins, bat beasts, and even Anakin Skywalker's late mother to mess with his head. Force Orb This was a force power capable of creating a bubble of air. This was showcased during the Battle of Mon Cala during the Clone Wars. Kit Fisto and Anakin Skywalker created a force orb around Senator Padme Amidala's head after her glass helmet was cracked underwater. Force Stasis Force Stasis was an ability of the Force to forcibly restrain people or to halt objects in their place, such as blaster bolts. Yoda used his power to freeze Asajj Ventress in place, Kylo Ren used his ability to hold off a blaster bolt headed in his direction long enough to talk to Poe Dameron for an extensive amount of time. Mind Probe Mind Probe was a powerful ability of the Force that allowed the user to look through the thoughts of the victim. It could cause great discomfort and was useful in torture tactics. Some examples in canon are Kylo Ren using it to torture Poe Dameron, and Darth Vader reading Luke Skywalker's thoughts to learn about his twin sister. Morocrow Morocrow was an ancient Jedi art that allowed its users to rapidly slow down the bodily functions of an opponent to the point of death. Master Yaddle was one of the few members of the Jedi Order permitted to practice this dangerous technique. This ability was made canon with its inclusion to the Star Wars character encyclopedia, updated and expanded in 2016. Force Projection Force Projection, or it could be referred to as a doppelganger ability, the projection of oneself was the ability to seemingly appear in one place while actually being elsewhere, a feat possible through the Force. The ability allowed the user to physically interact with their surroundings despite not being physically present. In The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker was able to project his appearance from Octu to Crate, where he confronted his nephew, Kylo Ren, during the battle. Psychometry Psychometry was the force ability of acquiring information about people or events associated with an object solely by touching it. The most prominent example in Star Wars is that of Quinlan Vos during the Clone Wars period. This ability made him an excellent tracker. Shatterpoint In canon, Shatterpoint was a force ability that could be used to sense the significance of an event. For example, Emperor Palpatine sensed a Shatterpoint, an aftermath Empire's End, in reference to the presence of Luke Skywalker. Taming Beasts Taming Beasts was an ability of the Force that allowed its users to connect mentally with a wild animal. Examples include Anakin Skywalker in the Geonosian Arena and Ezra Bridger many times throughout Star Wars Rebels. Force Lightning Force Lightning was a Force power that discharged electrical energy from the user's hands, 
resulting in electrocution and even disfigurement if the target was hit with it. Snoke, Emperor Palpatine, Darth Tyrannus are just a few individuals who used this potent ability in canon. Mind Trick A mind trick was an ability of the Force that allowed the practitioner to influence the thoughts of the affected. When using the mind trick, the person generally adopted a suggestive tone of voice and waved their hand in front of the target's face. It is very common throughout canon and generally only works on weak minds. Force Manifestations This will include post-mortal life ghosts and spirits through the Force. It was made possible by energy from the living Force flowing into the cosmic Force. We learned about the Force priestesses in the Clone Wars. They taught this skill to Qui-Gon Jinn, and he was the first known Jedi to learn the secret. His training was incomplete upon his death, however, so he could only manifest as a disembodied voice. The secret was later passed on to others such as Obi-Wan or Yoda. In relation to force manifestations was the ability to appear or disappear at will, kind of like teleportation. Mother Talzin and the Bendu, for example, showcase this ability on a number of occasions in Star Wars canon. Becoming one with the Force. This is a subset of the previous mentioned, but is the process of a user becoming one with the Force through the end of their mortal life. This includes Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, and Luke Skywalker. Tuta Menace or Force Absorption. Force Absorption was an umbrella title used by the Jedi Order to classify Force abilities related to energy absorption. While not everything related to Force Absorption is canon, we do have plenty of in-canon examples. On Mortis, the father was able to exhibit this ability, holding Anakin's lightsaber by the blade without damaging his hand and forcing it back into its hilt. The daughter was able to deflect and absorb the son's Crimson Force Lightning. Yoda was able to absorb Force attacks such as Force Lightning as well. Creating Life According to Sidious, Darth Plagueis was a wise and powerful Sith Lord who could manipulate midichlorians to create new life, an ability that extended to preserving life from death itself. While this is more flushed out in Legends material, this is about all we get in terms of canon examples and details. Force Visions and Precognitive Dreams Force visions or dreams were an aspect of the Force, an ability to see into the past or future. There are many instances in canon, including Yoda, Anakin and Luke Skywalker, to Ezra Bridger. One thing to note is that Yoda said that Force prophecies were not absolute, and that the future was always in motion. In addition to visions, there was foresight. While not in a dream, one could see the future. For example, the Bendu foresaw Grand Admiral Thrawn's defeat. Magic Magic was a supernatural technique that allowed a practitioner to wield great powers connected to the dark side of the Force. The Night Sister Witches were wielders of magic, with Mother Talzin being the most powerful of the magic users. Mother Talzin said, I am not a natural Force wielder like a Jedi or Sith, I use dark magic to achieve power. Some magic uses include a protection bubble, summoning objects like a sword, possession of others, healing, and many other incantations. Force Deflection Using the Force, the user had the ability to deflect energy-based attacks such as blaster bolts or Force Lightning. Examples of this are when Yoda duels Darth Sidious, or it could also be used as a barrier, for example, when Yoda and Anakin Skywalker protected Chancellor Palpatine and Padme from a poison gas cloud. Memory Manipulation through the Force, those with great power could manipulate the memories of others. On Mortis, the father used this power to erase Anakin Skywalker's knowledge of his future as Darth Vader after he had learned it from the Sun to tempt him to the dark side of the Force. Control Nature This ability was used by Force users to control nature or the weather and bend it to their will. Examples of this include the Bendu generating a lightning storm, and Yoda calling a bolt of lightning on Ock 2. If you thought that was a lot to go through, that was not even close to the amount in Star Wars Legends material. And just remember, it is possible that a book can come out, or a new TV show, or movie, that can take a Legends Force ability and make it canon. I hope you enjoyed this list of Force powers and abilities in the Star Wars canon. If I miss anything that is canon, let me know in the comment section and I will validate it. 
pin the comment, and look to add it in a future video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next Star Wars Lore.